OHSU right here in Portland managed to make human skin cells act like egg cells, fertilize them, and they started developing into human embryos. It's still very early in the process for this type of research, but there's already been pushback that we'll get to in a moment. But first, let's think back to high school biology class. In normal human reproduction, a sperm cell from a male fertilizes an egg cell from a female. Each of those cells contain 23 chromosomes. When the cells combine, they start to multiply, creating new cells that contain those 23 chromosomes from the male and the 23 from the female, so 46 altogether. Eventually, they develop into human fetus, and those chromosomes determine what genetic traits it has. It's a biological process that for some is not possible due to fertility issues. OHSU says they're on the path to overcoming those obstacles by potentially replacing the need for healthy egg cells. We took a skin cell from a person and extracted its nucleus, and the nucleus is the part of the cell that carries the DNA, which codes for all our traits and we transferred that nucleus into a donor egg cell. So this was an egg that came from another woman who donated that egg, who's had its nucleus removed. So we essentially replaced the egg nucleus with this skin cell nucleus. That egg cell with a skin cell nucleus was then fertilized with a normal sperm cell. OHSU says they created 82 functional eggs that they then fertilized. About 9% or 7 of them started developing into embryos in a petri dish, but they had abnormalities. Remember how the sperm and egg cells each have 23 chromosomes, and when they combine, they make 46? Well, the nucleus of a skin cell already had 46 chromosomes, so researchers had to get the skin cell to give up half its chromosomes in order to combine with sperm. They were able to do that, but scientists were not able to control which chromosomes it discarded and which traits it would affect. So most of them would have probably eventually stopped developing. So, and that's actually what happens normally in the body with most miscarriages actually. Most miscarriages are due to an abnormal number of chromosomes and the pregnancy will develop to a certain point and then stop developing. So that's what we would have expected would have happened with most of these embryos as well. The researchers ended the experiment after six days and the developing embryos that had chromosomal abnormalities were discarded. Again, this research is still in very early stages. It's at least a decade away from producing actual viable fetuses that make it to term and develop properly.